Welcome to this design expert video. Today I want to show you how you can import designs in design expert and for that I brought a little example um, here in a PDF format and I want to show you how to import that in design expert for when maybe you want to want to reanalyze a design that you saw in a publication or that you get from a colleague. So here we have a design a CCD with two factors, glycerol concentration and glucose concentration. And we have three responses. And now we want to get that from a PDF format to into design expert. And for that, we have to perform a few extra steps. And with th those extra steps, you can import data from a lot of different formats into design expert. So the first thing I want to do is I want to mark up and copy the whole design. And then I'm going to open Microsoft Word and just paste that into Word. The reason I do this is because Word is able to make a table out of the PDF input. And now I can take the table which is unfortunately still the wrong format for design expert, but I can take this table, copy it again, and then I can paste it into Microsoft Excel. And now that I'm in Excel, I can just copy and paste it into design expert. But before we can do this, we have to, we have to make a data table in design expert and we do this by clicking new design and we have to import data through the option historical data. Here we can set up the number of factors. We have two, so that's already uh, given here. And we have to specify the amount of rows. In our case, we had 11 rows for the CCD with two factors and three center points. And we click on next. Here we can specify the factors which we will do later and just click next for now and we can specify the responses which of which we have three responses then we click on finish and we get this nice empty data table now we can go back to excel and just copy the data set and paste it into design expert and now we have the the design of experiments from PDF into design expert. And now if you want to work with those, this data, then I recommend that you always specif specify the factors and the responses. We want to do this. So we go on the first factor and we look, look again into the PDF. We had the factor glycerol in weight by volume percent and the minus one level is at one and the one level is at three so we have to keep this in mind and just click right on the factor edit info now we can specify it glycerol units percent weight by volume and the low level is one and the high level is at three And that's, a, that's an error that happens pretty often. So I wanted to show you here. We have one and we have three and then we have to click away from the, this input field so that design expert saves the, the value here. So we click on okay and now it's, now it's right. So we can do the same for the glucose. And again, we have the same, the same unit and we go from low two to high six. And don't forget to switch the fields. And then we have the factors in the right, in the right borders. And now we can also specify the responses. In this case, we have the uh, <coughs> C to N 
ratio, the carbon to nitrogen ratio, then we have an EI, which is an emulsification index, and we have the surface tension, which we will abbreviate with ST. And now we can analyze the data and design expert and maybe look at what the guys in the publication, which I will link below, did, or maybe in real life what your colleagues did or what someone, someone in the literature already did, which is applicable to your problem. So with the, those extra steps through Word and through Excel, we have performed, you can really import stuff from a lot of sources. And yeah, if you find this video helpful, we would be glad if you leave a thumbs up and see you at the next Design Expert video.